So we have an equation, and we're being asked to sketch the graph of this equation. So we have a minus sign here, and this looks to be uh, what's called a hyperbola. If you had a plus sign here, uh, this would probably be this would be an ellipse. So solution. The first thing we want to do is find the center. So the center is always of the form h k, and the x goes with the h, and the y goes with the k. So here it's x minus h squared. So h is one. And then here, this is supposed to be y minus k squared. So k is negative 2. So really easy trick is you just switch the sign. So there's a negative 1, you put a positive 1. There's a positive 2, you put a negative 2. So switch the signs. So this is the center. And now we have to find a and b. So in a hyperbola, a is just the square root of whatever you see there. So a is the square root of 4, which is 2. And b is the square root of 9, which is uh, 3. And then we go ahead and we draw our picture. So we draw the y-axis, and we draw the x-axis. And the center is 1, negative 2. So from the middle, right here, we're going to go right 1 and down 2. Then we'll put a dot. And since the y comes first, this guy opens up and down. If the x had come over here, if there was an x here instead, then it would open uh, left and right. All right, so the center was 1, negative 2. It's there. So since it opens up and down, we're going to go up and down by a. So we'll go up by 2 from the center. So 1, 2, right there. And then 1, 2, right there. And then we'll go left and right by 3. So 1, 2, 3, there we are. And then 1, 2, 3, there we are. Then we draw a box. This box has a really cool name. It's called the fundamental rectangle. And then you draw slant or oblique asymptotes through the corners and through the center of the box. And it opens up and down, so the hyperbola lies on this dot. So it's going to look something like that. And then down here, it's going to be the same deal. So that's it.